In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up DOSBox for streaming with OBS Studio. The normal way that I play DOSBox is in full screen mode. Like this, where you have black bars on either side. You usually set your full screen resolution to your desktop resolution. Also, start in full screen mode and hit correct aspect ratio. For local recordings, the ideal way to capture the screen would be to use OBS's game capture mode, which can capture full screen. But it only works in OpenGL mode and it has problems capturing DOSBox. It cuts off your frames partway through the frame. I've reported the bug, but I don't know if they're ever going to get around to fixing it. The only other way to capture full screen mode is to use display capture. Display capture doesn't work with OpenGL, so you'll have to use overlay or DDraw mode. I would suggest DDraw mode. For live streaming online, you'll probably be using a second monitor, and you're going to want to switch your focus to OBS on the other monitor, and so you'll want to be running a DOS box in a window. You can see the default windowed resolutions here. For instance, 1024 by 768. This can work, but if you want to run it in a window in full screen, you'll need to set the window resolution at a 4x3 aspect ratio of your full screen resolution. To figure that out, you divide 4x3 and multiply that by the vertical resolution of your screen. In the case of a 1080 monitor, it ends up being 1440. For a 720 screen, it's 960. With a 1440 screen, it's 1920. And if you're one of the lucky ones with a 4K monitor, it's 2880. 1440 by 1080 is not a default resolution in Defend Reloaded. And so we go to Program Options, Default Values, Window Resolution. And we can add 1440 by 1080. And now we have a giant window which we can't see properly because it's under the taskbar. The way to fix this is to make it a borderless window. There are multiple programs that can do this, but Borderless Gaming does a good job for me. You'll see the DOS box entry there, so you right click that and hit Add Binary Process Name under Add to Favorites.
Now it's borderless, but it's still not full screen. Instead, it's stuck to the left of the screen. If you want the borderless window to take up the whole screen, like in full screen mode, you'll need to change the desktop resolution. You can find the screen resolution here. But wait, where's 1440 by 1080? Unfortunately, 4x3 versions of widescreen resolutions are not set up by default in Windows. So, you'll have to add a custom resolution through your graphics card software. Go to your graphics card software and find where your custom resolution settings are. Change your horizontal resolution to the proper number. You may also have to set a timing standard. I set it to CVT. I also changed the refresh rate to 60 because I want it to actually be 60 FPS and not the 59.94 of NTSC video. Now, your new custom resolution should show up. You should now have black bars on either side of your screen. If it's stretched out, you'll have to fix that on your monitor. It's kind of annoying to use the Windows settings to change the resolution. With HRC, the hotkey resolution changer, you can set hotkeys to change your resolution. Here are the resolution controls. Click Change, press the keys you want, and then click Set to set your hotkey. Now I just have to hit Control alt 2 and my resolution will change. And now DOSBox is running in a full screen borderless window. This means that DOSBox can be in full screen on my main monitor, but I can move my mouse over to the other monitor to mess around with OBS. For the actual settings in OBS Studio, add a window capture source. Turn off Capture Cursor. Then right click on the projector and go to Fit to Screen under Transform.
So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and see you next time.